So hi guys, welcome back to the Chris Angler channel. This is going to be a video uh, with a bunch of different parts at different places um, about baiting and how I, uh, how I do it. I've done the casting program twice now. Uh, I'm a level 3 cast angler. So uh, I'll, I, I'll be using what I learned from there. I have people in the club, in my fishing club. Um, what I've learned on the YouTube, um, on the internet, posted, YouTube, things, uh, different things. Uh, so it's not going to be top class baiting, but this is going to be a, a video for beginners, for people getting into fishing. Uh, if you if you are a pro uh, and you see this video, if I'm doing anything wrong, please please tell me. Um, I, I I would really like some feedback. Uh, but this video is mostly for. Uh, new anglers that are getting into fishing, uh, it's got, there's going to be different uh, stuff, uh, black log, mackerel, I'm not going to name them all now because I'll be on for ages. This video will have a bit of blood, worm and fish and uh, maybe some uh, bit of guts. Uh, so if, you, if you're a bit sensitive to that stuff, uh, click after the video. Um, that's great. Uh, click after the video uh, because it, it is it is a bit um, bloody and I'll be I'll be using scissors. Uh, that's the uh, that's the main part. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just gonna, as I said, there's going to be a lot of different pieces. I don't know how long the video is going to be, but I hope you guys um, learn something new from it. Anyway, yeah. just to show you a bit of baiting here so first of all you're going to take your baiting needle um, I, I just have these you can there's a lot you can definitely get them in the angling hub in Chile um, here he has a good stack of them right bang on there um, so you're going to stick it on to your baiting needle then you're going to take your wax that's the hard job taking it off the actual thing now you're gonna wrap it around. You're already putting wax on it, so don't be shy. Put it on. If I'd be doing competition fishing, I'd be doing it a bit more neater. But I'm fun fishing now, so just to keep it on. Then you're gonna take the hook, and you're gonna put your hook in the baiting needle, and then you're gonna slide the sand deal onto the hook there we go that's a perfect juicy bait for dogfish for a ray would take this anything really pollock mackerel great bait um that's how you bait up. You can also do it without the um without the baiting needle and make sure before putting it on the baiting needle you cut off the tail and the head. Um you cut off the head just behind the gills. Um let me take a just here. I don't want to show it on YouTube but and just here. Um and then you put it on, you don't have to gut it or anything. The guts are the good part for the fish. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be doing a black lug bait uh, and size 12, uh, size 12 hooks, this is 10 12 hooks uh, for, any, uh, for anything. Uh, I'd say flounder and maybe after pier, gurnard, uh, gurnard, pouting, whiting, any of those uh, kind of fish, flounder dab. Uh, and after beach, mostly flounder and whiting. If you have a uh, a beach with, with flound, uh, whiting, so here uh, I have a bit of a floaty bead. You don't have to have one, but with the smaller hooks, I like to have the floaty bead. Uh, first of all, I'm going to take my scissors. They're coming onto the screen for cutting the log. Uh, I'm going to cut. I don't like. These, this part uh, just because it falls apart so I'm going to cut off about that much lug the rest back in my tray 
Uh, then I'm going to put it on. Basic needle. Uh, you can also use these ones. Uh, but I, feel, I find that the two prong, uh, that the two prong ones are for bigger baits. Uh, sand deal and bigger mackerel baits for dogfish and bass. Then I'm going to take my wax. Uh, pretty tin wax. Uh, for this type of fishing, tinner wax is better. Obviously for the bigger fish you'd be using the heavier wax. With sandy land mackerel. Wrapped it around a couple of times. And the waiting needle. Take that off. Grab my hook. I, 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 I like to pull the bead up just so it doesn't annoy me. Put the hook inside of the hole on top. There's one on the other side. Oh, it doesn't really matter which side you use. On my baiting needle, on a couple, I say a couple of them, it would. So just find whichever one the hook goes into. Then black lug just goes on. That wasn't the best show there, but that'll do. I'm going to put on a bit more wax, I'm going to try to put it up the hook a bit, there we go. Crack this little bit, just so the bit's more aerodynamic and just looks better. Put my scissor down, open my box for my maddies. Tread my Maddy on. Doesn't matter what size of Maddy you use. And you're just gonna nip on a bit of the Maddy like that. Throw it up past the eye of the hook. Push this down. Grab your mackerel fillet or your mackerel. The belly part is the best here. Just cut off a bit of like that. Uh, that much is grand. Put on that. This is so for if the black lug and the maddie don't fall off. And you put it on like that. Pull your bead down. Make sure your hook is, is exposed. It's hard with these small hooks now. And there you go, you have a nice little bit. Um, I like to trim a bit of my Maddy off like that. And there you go, you have a bit um, for anything, to be honest. Um, I've had dogfish take on this as well, uh, but I won't be fishing for dogfish with this. But nice little bit. Yeah. So, lads, uh, I'm going to show you how to make. A black lug, uh, just a black lug, a black lug ma uh, bait with tip with mackerel. So I'm gonna grab my black lug here. Get some newspaper off him. Um, put my hook down, and I'm gonna cut off a bit more since I'm just uh, since I'm just doing the just the black lug tip with mackerel. So I'm gonna cut off about this much. Uh, compared to my finger, so not too much and not too little. And I'll put it on the basic needle. See if it works. This is a pretty fine wax, uh, just for the smaller fish. I find that it's it's better, that's what I've heard, uh, so the fish can't feel it and see it. So it's very, very thin. There we go. 
there's a couple of ways of um that's my middle hook there. Um there's a couple of ways of doing this. So this way and the baiting needle. Just same same drill. Same thing here. Turn it on like a worm. Got the hook point. Pull it up. Mackerel's in my box. There we go. So mackerel. My scissors. And cut off a little bit. That. Just a bit more mackerel. And it and if you don't have live worms, you can do a thinner strip so it acts like a tail. Like that. And uh yeah. So that's one way of putting black lug onto a hook. Yeah. And I uh, so let's um, black lug here, this is the second way. I don't really like this table so I tend to pull on it and wherever it falls off um, I, uh, I keep the rest up and that tail bit um, I put it back into the cooler or throw it back into the water or throw it into the water so the fish can have a feed off it or crabs or whatever is out there. So there I'm going to pull it off a bit less, I'll grab my hook. And I'm gonna, uh, it doesn't matter really which end you start with, we're gonna go on a bit, twist it like that, go on a bit more, twist it, go on a bit more, twist it, just twisting it and putting it on the hook. With the black lug, you try to cover most of the hook. I'll let the hook um, and leave a bit for the mackerel and have the hook, hook, hook exposed. So like that, you don't have to put any wax on that because it's, it's on there pretty good. Tray here and take my scissors and craft again a bit of my mackerel. Mackerel is, is very important in sea fishing. It's kind of the main, main bit, I uh, use it for tipping, just for normal things. Most fish in the ocean um, take it. Just to make my bait look a bit nicer in the water, more presentation. Grab a bit of the meat there and put it, put it on the hook. Make sure you penetrate the skin. Uh, that's the main reason you use mackerel. Uh, you can also use blue if you can get it, it's pretty hard to get um, any kind of fish with a tough skin. Uh, mackerel is oily uh, oily and uh, blue is, is oily, I think it's more oily so it doesn't really matter as long as it stays on and you penetrate the skin so the black lug doesn't fall out um, because the black lug doesn't want to go up the hook and wants to go down um, it's different with all the baits, which way it goes up the hook or down the hook, but you want it on, on the hook, obviously. So there you go, bait here. Um, that one, that one is that that is the best there. Uh, I think I'll pin it up and do it again. But there we go, uh, black lug bait. Uh, any anything would take that, to be honest. Uh, on a beach, the uh, bass, flounder whiting, uh, pouting and all those kind of fish. Uh, so there you go, and that's how to bait a black, uh, black lug. Yeah. So lads, um, I'm going to be putting on a uh, maddy on the hook. I'm going to be using three maddies. Let's get into my ba maddy box here. I'm going to pick out a maddy here. Put my hook. So how you, how you tell where the head of the maddy is, is the the thicker part? Um, so this is the the end. G, like you kind of see the difference. 
and when you hold him boy um i don't think you can see it on camera when you hold him by the head he a little head thing uh, comes out to bite you but it it doesn't bite you it just kind of grabs onto you but if you shook it off it go flying away it isn't that strong and it doesn't hurt I, i've like you feel it but it doesn't hurt uh so i'm gonna grab grab my hook here I'm going to take the maddy and try to put the hook point straight through the mouth. I think that's what it is, the head. And just, don't, you don't put on too much, just nip it on. Then you pull it through, pull it up. Get your next maddy. There we go. Again, through the head. This one, some, it's sometimes hard to get him. There, oh, there, there we go. Um, nip it through. You don't, you don't have to tread on the whole worm. And that's that's the mistake I used to do a long time ago, treading on um, the whole worm. So there's barely any tail left. In the casting program, I learned that you only nip on the head. And obviously, the bigger, the, the fatter the head on the maddy is, um, the easier it is to put on. But if it's it's okay if you just have a normal maddy. There we go. Three maddies. Um, here, I'll cut on my mackerel. hook point take the mackerel and obviously if you're going for a smaller fish your tip would your the, you'd be tipping with a smaller piece of mackerel maybe only using two maddies um some people put on more some people some people put on more or you've never seen people put on less than three if they're going for a flounder or something because on days um sometimes they'll only take one if you're going for a smaller fish like competition fishing or if you're just out fishing three three or four or even five is grand so there you go you have a little you have a bit i like to put uh, put my stop down um, and if you find that when you're casting out and you reel it back in and your maddie's gone i like to put a bit of wax around all the heads here just here uh, so the maddie stays on because that could just be the crabs or anything eaten on it um, and, fa and it falling off. So there you go, Maddy bait, hook point exposed. Um, there we go, perfect little bait, jack.